probably the easiest question I could have answered. Yes, absolutely, I'll come to Barcelona and race these boats because, you know, they're pretty awesome. Well, it was it's champagne sailing today. You know, we had the breeze build up to 18 knots and um, we were really, really happy with the day. Hi, Finn. Finn Rowe. Uh, I believe you are one of the uh, youth sailors for American Magic. Yeah, that right? yeah, that's correct. Can you tell us a little bit, little bit about your background? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, first off, I'm from uh, Wisconsin, which is uh, one of the, where one of the places that one of the other youth sailors is from as well, uh, Harry Melgus. Um, yeah, we grew up to, together sailing pretty much our whole entire life. Um, one of the first more high performance boats I started sailing was 29ers. Um, I actually sailed with Harry in the 29ers, and then once we got a little bit bigger, we got into the 49er, and uh, we did the Olympic campaign up until the uh, 20. Yeah, I think we did Olympic campaign up until like 2021 because Olympics were, you know, postponed a little bit for COVID. And then after that, Harry kind of got a little bit more into the serious pro sailing and moth sailing stuff like that. And I went to school, and then the Youth America's Cup start stuff started happening. I did a couple tryouts and. Uh, yeah, now I'm just really lucky to be here. Yes, you are. Um, so one day you just got a phone call from someone saying you're in. Uh, how did it work? Kind of. So basically the tryouts for our youth guys started about, you know, probably last summer. And I wasn't in, involved at first. And then some of my friends like Harry and Severn, the other youth guys, were starting to tell me about it. Like, hey, you should come try out. Um, and so I came and tried out this winter and did a bunch of sailing in the 69Fs down in Miami. Um, you know, learn you know to love those boats and competing and foiling boats. And then this uh, summer, or more like the spring, I got a call from one of the guys that runs our youth program, saying, "Hey, like they need some guys to come step in with the two boating this summer." And uh, it was probably the easiest question I could have answered. Yes, absolutely, I'll come to Barcelona and race these boats because you know they're pretty awesome. And here you are. So, what's your role on the boat? Steering, uh, trimmer? Yeah, I'm a trimmer. Trimmer, yeah. And wasn't it wasn't an easy day today, I guess, at the end of the, at the, yeah. end of the day? Yeah, uh, at the beginning it was definitely a little bit easier than some of my uh, past days trimming. It was a little bit wavier a couple days ago. Um, obviously a little bit harder to lock in the boat when it's wavier. Um, but it was a little bit lighter at first and then the wind started to increase, which was nice. But it started off being pretty smooth sailing. It's definitely a lot smoother than the past couple days. And then as it increased, the waves picked up a little bit and got a little bit difficult, more difficult. But yeah, it was a good day. Um, what was the, um, the hardest bit for you today? Um, the hardest part today was probably once the wind picked up a little bit. This was my first day uh, two boating, so it was it was pretty awesome to be honest. You know, just seeing another boat out in the race course and just you know tight crosses, those guys just to windward of you ripping around the course. Um, so just kind of getting acclimated with another boat on the course was probably the biggest thing for me that I was focusing on. Thanks a lot for visiting for today. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. We're here with Hamish Wilcox, sailing coach here. Lorna Rosa, uh, Hamish, how do you like the conditions out there today? Well, it was it's champagne sailing today. You know, we had the breeze build up to 18 knots and, um, you know, some nice waves coming around the corner as it eddied in and it held for long enough to get the job done. So we were really, really happy with the day. What were you seeing on the animometer up the mast? Yeah, so it was hitting 18 um, for a bit and um, yeah, it wasn't a, a long period at 18, but it was a couple of hours and that allowed the sea state to build up a little bit and, you know, started to represent a good day in Barcelona. 
uh, during the during the, all the setting, what communications are you having with the crew? Are you on live live track with them, with all four of them? Or yeah, that's right. I mean, um, like the other teams, we have a connection with the sailing boat and then um, with the radio and with the Wi-Fi, and and you can you know, hopefully you can follow most of what's going on. And uh, yeah, similar to us, actually, are sometimes filming as well. Can you maybe give us a hint on what exactly are you focusing on those times? Yeah, well, so uh, we're a little lean on the ground um, with the, the Sail GP just finishing. So I'm um, taking um, a role last few days on the chase boat doing the filming, as you noticed. And um, yeah, it's, it's been quite fun. You see it from another perspective, a different boat, and it goes in a different way in relation to the other boats. So we get in a bit closer at times to, um, to really be able to see what's going on with the aero package and everything. The usual, so. <laughs> uh, Hamish, you, you guys switched mainsail for the last 30 minutes of sailing. The breeze decreased, the, the sea state stayed on. Uh, was that something, had, uh, had this something to do with the new mainsail or any new uncompleted testing to do on that? Yeah, it's good. To, we what really were hopeful that we could get that done. You know, we knew the breeze was dropping all the time, and um, it was on the edge, as you can see. You know, we just squeezed it in. It would have been a lot of work for nothing otherwise. So it was really awesome to be able to get it up and have a look at it, and you know, see uh, see it in a different breeze. Debriefing on a day like today, what 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 will it be? Design team or more sailing performance? The debrief. The debrief. Yeah, probably it's half and half at the moment, roughly. You know, there's um, there's always plenty to work on with our technique, our sailing technique, and um, obviously we're always just ticking things off on the design side as well. Gotcha, Hamish. Keep going a little bit.